can explain lightning to me. You can give me an explanation lightning about it. Lightning is a yellow thing. Lightning is a yellow thing. Huh? A yellow what? thing, really. Uh, from the sky. Wait. Lightning is when the clouds crash and it will make electricity just like when we use our hands and rub it together, it will be very hot. Uh, yeah, okay, Hannah. That's a good answer. I accept that. Good job. Well done. Yeah, it's electricity in the sky. When two clouds rub together, they create a charge. And sometimes that charge gets so strong that it goes all that it starts to spark and ignite and sends electricity through the sky. And as it's going through the sky, it lights up all of the air molecules in the sky. And that's why you get <clears throat> different colors of lightning as well. So good answer, Hannah. Well done. <clears throat> so, um, thank you for everyone who did your homework. I will review it. I'll send you back some comments about your homework today. And you can have a look through those answers and what I've said about them. Some of them look really good. So uh, well done to everybody. What I want to do today is... Um, I want to look through some of the stuff that we didn't get done yesterday, and then we'll move on to the next lesson. So I'm going to ask a question. What does the word hazard mean? Who can tell me what does hazard mean? Go on, you're really close. Have a guess. Something that was dangerous. Yeah, perfect. Excellent, Mickey. Good job. Something's dangerous. So hazard is something that is dangerous, okay? Dangerous. Now, ah, go back. So you're going to see me use the word weather hazard <laughs> or severe weather to talk about dangerous weather. What weather do you think is a hazard? Teddy. Um, the hazard is a dangerous. Okay. Louis, what's dangerous weather? Weather I mean hazard. Okay, so give me an example of some dangerous weather. Hurricane, tornado. Yeah, or, perfect. Uh, Hacker, what's some dangerous weather? A dangerous weather is just heavy rain. Heavy rain. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Anna, tell me another one. Maybe a hurricane. A... Hurricane. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Lei Kang, tell me another one. Uh, a tornado. Yeah, perfect. Good job. So there's lots and lots of types of dangerous weather, right? There's lots of them. Now, what we need to think about is... Um, when we use words like severe, it means really bad or dangerous, okay? Some examples of some severe or dangerous weather. So I want you to try to tell me what weather is. So, what type of weather do we think this is? Hurricane. Ken, sorry, what do you think? I think it's a hurricane. Yeah, probably me too. I think it's a hurricane too. How do you know it's a hurricane? I think it's a hurricane because the weather is dangerous and it's the, the wind is blowing, the wind is strong and it is raining heavily. Yeah, perfect. Excellent answer. Yeah, it's really, really windy. It's, uh, the wind is blowing really strong. It's really rainy. That's what a hurricane looks like, right? Good job. All right, who can tell me what is this weather called? Is it a hail? Yeah, it's hail, Emma. Good job. Well done. It's hail. It's hail. Hail is when precipitation falls, when water falls. But this time, instead of falling as raindrops, it falls as big lumps of ice. Now, I'll show you this one, <clears throat> this bit. It's hail again. But look how strong. Oh, the hail is falling so strong. So it's actually breaking the window of a car. What would you do if the hail was that strong? I would think you... in this weather, we must put the car inside our house. Put the car yeah, inside the be... house? It will be broke. Yeah. It will broke. Yeah, well, sometimes we can't put our car inside the house. Can't pick it up and put it on your shoulders. <clears throat> but uh, it's dangerous, right? So... Hazards and severe weather, they can be very, very dangerous to people. My question now is, what do we do? How do we stop ourselves from getting hurt? 
how do we make sure that this dangerous weather doesn't affect us too much, okay? So that's the questions I'm gonna ask you now, <clears throat> and that's what I want you to think about. Or how do we make sure that this dangerous weather, you know that there is a tornado coming? What information you need to know about a tornado to help you stay safe? What do you think you need to know? Tweechi. I need to know when the tornado happens. Yeah, when it's going to happen. Yeah, cool. Coming. I what else do you need to know? What about the direction of the tornado? Think you need to know which way the tornado is going? Yes. Yeah. You need to know how fast the wind is? Yeah, definitely. So think about all these things. What about uh, a hurricane? What do you need to know about a hurricane? When there's dangerous weather coming to you, you want to know, oh, hold on, how dangerous is it? Is it really, really dangerous? Or is it only a little bit dangerous? Very dangerous. It could be very dangerous. You don't know, right? So this is where you have your measuring devices, okay? So your scientists will use the anemometer, wind vane, rain gauge, the thermometer. All of these things will tell them information about the weather about how dangerous the weather is and how dangerous it could be, okay? These are things I want you to think about. So when you think about it like this, Leo, when it's hot, what do you do? When it's hot, I wear a shirt and sit in front of a fan. Okay, Anna, you sit in front of a fan. Good job, well done. What about when it's cold? Emma, what do you do when, when it's cold? When it's cold, we wear something is warm. For example, a scarf. Okay, what I want you to think about is weather can happen all the time and it affects us and makes us do different things, but also use different things as well. So think about like this, right? Lots of technology helps us with weather. Lots and lots of things. When it's cold, we can use a heater, we can close a window, we can put on more clothes. When it's raining, take an umbrella, or we wear special clothes to make sure we do not get wet. When it's hot, we can put on a fan, the air conditioner, or even wear some shorts. So what other technology, what things help us with severe weather? What helps us with severe weather? Say it's raining really, really, really heavy outside. Classic. Hannah, what would you do if it's raining really, really heavy outside? I think when it's raining really, really heavy outside, we need to go inside the house or we'll get wet or even catch a cold. Exactly, okay. So, Louis, <clears throat> how does going inside a house keep you dry? The rain will hit the roof and it will not hit inside of the house. Exactly, so the roof will keep us dry. Now, what else keeps us dry? It's in the walls that we can look out we can look out of it but it doesn't let the rain in. Caroline, sorry, ocean. So you're sitting in your house, you're looking out of the something, something. You can see outside, but the rain is not coming in. What's that called? It's with a w. Window. Yeah, a window, right? So a window will keep you dry. Think about this as well. Imagine you're in a car and you're driving along in your car and there's heavy, heavy rain. What stops the rain from getting you? It's a window again, right? So windows can help keep us dry. They can help keep us warm. Some, some, some cars have special windows that can actually heat up and they can remove ice from them as well. So these are all types of technology that exist, okay? Something to think about going forward. So here at the top left, we have a hurricane. What's gonna what would you do during a hurricane to stay safe? Kang. I will... Go inside the house and the house. do nothing. <clears throat> okay. During a blizzard, what will you do? Yes, I go. I will go in the house too. Oh, yeah. Nikki, what about during a flood? <clears throat> what would you do? I think I will need to go to something that is tall. So the water can't go in. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And Hacker, what would you do during a tornado? I sit at home. You stay at home, okay. Now, the reason I ask you that question is, I'm going to do that one, is 
Imagine you live in a place that has lots and lots and lots and lots of strong wind, okay? There's going to be wind all the time where you live. What can you do to stay safe? What would you do if you lived in a place where there was lots and lots of wind? Underground base. Um, yeah, build something underground. Cool. Yeah, Hannah, what would you do? I think I would stay at home. Stay at home, okay. But say there's lots and lots of wind. How do you make sure your home is safe? Uh, fly to other places. <laughs> okay, so wait, hold on. Your, your answer is to move house. Oh, there's lots of wind. I'm just going to move house now. What can you do? You can build your house strong. What can you use to make sure your house is strong? Metal. Metal, right. Metal and? Iron. Iron. So, so I'll build it out of? Wait. And metal. And metal. You need to build your house strong. So make sure... Everything can be tied down, right? When you live in somewhere where you know what the weather is going to be like, you prepare for it, okay? You know that there's going to be a lot of wind. <clears throat> the house is not going to get blown away. You build a house out of bricks and metal. If you make sure everything can be tied down, then the wind's not going to be able to blow it away either. So you prepare, okay? When you know <clears throat> what the weather is going to be like, it allows you to prepare. So let's talk about tornadoes okay so tornadoes are strong columns of spinning air they start at the top in a thunderstorm or a supercell and then they reach the ground that's a tornado okay air has to start at the top and reach the ground they are very fast and they are very very dangerous so let's have a look well watch the video and you'll see louis brutal extreme brutal and potent forms of weather is a type of a storm we call tornadoes. A tornado, which is also known as twisters, are rapidly rotating columns of air. So, tornadoes are super dangerous, okay? They're formed by cold air, meaning hot air, and they cause lots and lots of destruction. What are some things that Troy... Tell me something. What, what do tornadoes destroy? Uh, noob, what's something that a tornado can destroy? Kang, what's something a tornado can destroy? House. A house, yes. Thank house. you. Cindy, something else? Tree. Kiwi, read for us, please. A tornado is a column of fast moving air. Tornado forms when cold and warm air meet, causing the air to rot rotate. They can damage property and hurt people. From tornadoes are much stronger, faster, and more violent. Violent than others. There are most common in spring and fall. So violent means that they um, cause more damage, okay? More angry. Okay, everyone. So for your homework this evening, what I'm going to ask you to do is choose two types of severe weather and talk about the differences between them, okay? Talk about the differences between them. I'll send you a Google form. In the Google form, I have an example. So please follow that. Choose. Bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, okay?